All right, so Zach got sick tonight. He's been sick for like the last four days. We've been trying to pump a show out. We were trying to go at eight o'clock tonight talking about everything in the tri-state, especially with the big news that broke down today with James Harden going to the Nets. And the Sixers not wanting to take their shot once again and land a superstar. Um, basically, all I'm going to say about that is this is Philadelphia. This is Philadelphia in a nutshell. And the fact that the Sixers didn't pull the trigger once again, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, you had nothing to lose. You know, you have RB today. Shout out to uh, Philly Take with RB. You have RB that absolutely loves the fact that we didn't take a shot today, um, but was okay with us completely tanking every year and getting one solid player, one MVP candidate out of that whole shebang throughout that whole tank job. And I don't know what to say anymore. That RB is a kid. All right, he's what, 20, 21. I have seven years on him. I've seen seven more years of disappointment, seven more years of these teams not taking shots, not landing free agents, not landing superstars to put us over the top. It's the same exact thing year in and year out. I know Ben Simmons is garbage. I've seen these athletes come and go. I've seen them. I've seen the best and I've seen the worst athletes. Ben Simmons is somewhere in between. He has everything that you'd want in a player, except the biggest thing, and that's the shooting. That's the biggest thing you need. And it's just, you yeah, you had to pull the trigger today. You had to. I, you had to. It's just, it's sickening to this point. But this is Philly. Everyone asks why nothing happens good here. Like Donald Trump said, bad things happen in Philadelphia. It's, it's, a, it's a great quote. Because nothing happens here. Nothing. The teams don't pull the trigger. People love this Maury guy. I don't know why. He had ties to the Rockets and he still couldn't get it done. You know, the Nets, are the Nets going to be great? Probably not because they don't have a bench anymore. But we had a bench. We have a bench. If you get rid of Ben, and even if you get rid of Maxi, you still have Green. You still have Seth Curry. You still have these players that can work within what we need. You have Tobias Harris. We would have been a phenomenal team. And again, we let one slide right past us. And I, I don't know how much more I can take of this. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pan. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to have a rant on camera because I'm just, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm just sick of it. You know, you had James Harden right in your laps. You had this guy that used to work with the Rockets and Maury, and you still can't land him? It's like, we literally tanked on purpose to get great players in the draft and we landed one. And you won't do that? You won't get rid of draft picks that you can't really draft anyway with? I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. I I, I don't know what to say anymore. I, I really don't. Um, fuck. I'm out of words. Bye.